one person who doesn't want to be associated with Kanye West, oddly enough, and is standing on principle, and you have to respect this way more than you respect anything else, because a lot of these people in the scene are flipping clout chasing demons. They love to flip in, you know, get on social media and talk about how proud they are of their friends for doing cool things, but they're not really their friend. They want to claim people's successes and shit. It's all really lame and corny. They're asking people for flipping discounts. They want to get gifted shoes. They, you know, they're just, just the worst people that exist in that kind of scene overall in terms of how they go about things. They're not done anything, they haven't contributed anything significant themselves to culture itself apart from being a high level consumer, but they legitimately think they have a voice in this thing. Shut the fuck up. A lot of them are also guys who suck on people's you know knobs because they want to be like them also they want to be associated and kind of next to them and one person was obviously yay it was a period in my life where i legitimately thought prior to all the stuff blowing up about yay behind the scenes i was of the thinking especially being a big fan of his i just knew this guy behind the scenes was a nightmare something just told me in my spirit that kanye must be an absolute nightmare to deal with behind the scenes i don't know why but something told me so when it transpired and it came out that he was horrible, he was going through this beef with Virgil Abloh RIP to the point where his home, Virgil Abloh's family wouldn't invite the guy to the private funeral. They didn't let him speak at the public one. All this madness happened behind the scenes, right? I just knew this guy was a nightmare and it all kind of was exploded and exposed and we kind of saw everything for what it was. And along the way, one of the people who kind of had a back and forth with Ye on social <clears throat> was Tremaine Emery, who does the brand Denim Tears, who who kind of had a lot of experience working with Yeezy close um you know I, I forgot what time it was specifically I think it might have been around the time when Kanye did that season where he had the stuff in the shrink wrap the invites I think so I'm not really too sure I can't really put down the time but there was a period in time where Tremaine Emery was pictured hanging around Ye a lot and if you know anything about Tremaine prior to having his brand Denim Tears he was kind of like the tastemaker cultural person and you know that people can kind of you know use to kind of you know have insights on certain things add ideas to project ideate things delegate whatever it may be just a overall you know fixer in terms of the culturally creative tour stuff so you'd always see him hanging around with yeah a lot he'd be posting you know hey i just got some new shoes i'm happy about these i think he's the person who actually made oddly enough the desert rats really popular for a period of time i think he was wearing those desert boots for a while the yeezy boots that weren't that popular i loved them always from the beginning because i'm a big fan of flipping big heavy boots anyone that knows me knows that's all i wear day to day but there was a period in time where the yeezy desert boots weren't that well regarded and people kind of left them by the wayside but Tremaine started wearing them more often, started to show them on his social media, wearing them with all these crazy fits and shit. And then everybody kind of got into them and they kind of, you know, would sell out from time to time. So he played a crucial part and they were kind of were very well linked. Anyway, during the period in time when Ye was going crazy, doing those anti-Semitic things, White Lives Matter might have been the final straw. It kind of transpired through those texts and exchanges that I think I spoke about on my podcast itself that they fell out for a while and that Ye Kanye actually fired Tremaine which kind of makes a lot of sense because if you know anything about Tremaine, you know that he's very um, politically minded um, and he's also somebody that gives a shit about that sort of stuff. So when you seen Kanye, you know, talking about Trump being his dad and wearing the, you know, the flipping MAGA hat and stuff, I can imagine it didn't sit well with the guy. But we kind of found out later, again, he didn't announce it, he didn't make a big fuss about it, Tremaine, but we kind of announced it later that, hey, I'm not your friend anymore. We kind of fell out, you fired me, blah, blah, blah. And I think I may have found out about the firing you think he might have said it in passing when he did a live stream talking about about his come up on i think virgil abloh's channel i think if you go on virgil's channel there's a live stream that tremaine did actually where he's speaking about his come up and he said something like oh um when i got fired from yeezy i was like shit he got fired and i think later on we kind of found out when the leaks happened and the kind of back and forth and the dms and shit but i just have to say big up 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 Tremaine for sticking by his guns to the point where now it looks like he's completely scrubbed yay from his flipping history because he did a recent talk with the Harvard um GSD I think was it? I don't know how GSD stands for but anyway um he did with the Harvard School of Design I'm pretty sure where he spoke to some of the kids over there the same place that Virgil Abel did the legendary um lecture that I had on my channel before that you know flipping Harvard took down over there been a million views for fuck's sake but anyway um he went there and did the same talk or did a talk there at the same place 
and he spoke about his kind of upbringing and whatnot and his history and whatnot and his inspirations it's pretty good little podcast so a live stream that i watched unfortunately somebody recorded it on their screen and then recorded it small and the audio is all messed up and shit but it is what it is but in the beginning of the introduction they introduce him on the on the show and they don't mention anything about yeezy now it could be that whoever introduced him whoever put this introductory thing together didn't know he worked for yay maybe or it could be that Tremaine told him, hey, don't put the yay stuff in there. I don't fuck with that guy. Fuck that shit. Because he completely didn't mention it in the beginning part of his. They didn't mention it when they interested him on the flipping stage. I'm going to play a bit of it here that features the introduction of it so you can hear what they say. Tremaine is also an activist and uh, has used uh, his platform to speak out against the racial injustice and the political brutality. He has organized the protests and the fundraisers and has been recognized for his contributions to the community, including being named as one of the Forbes 30 on 30 in 2021. Now, Maxine Yin was focused by the SI and the Jumei in 2015, came out from his, their relationship and shared interest in closing merchandise stuff hosting and DJing parties and events around East London and Soho before deciding to combine all of their interests into a single concept. No vaccine is both the result of their shared ideas and interests and the constantly involved in entity their attacks on various forms, such as selling, closing, hosting, radio shows, and working with artists. Uh, as mentioned uh, before, uh, one of Virtuman's talent and objective is to bridge the world of uh, fashion and music. Um, so here he helped uh, creating a voice on Crying with uh, Frank Ocean in 2017. Uh, and then uh, in the same year, um, he was a part of the uh, Nike Equality Campaign uh, to promote uh, diversity, uh, inclusion, and social justice. Uh, and then by working with Nike uh, on this campaign, uh, Jermaine further solidified that um, his reputation as a creative uh, who is not only passionate about fashion and design, but also committed to promoting uh, social justice and equality through his work. In 2019, Jermaine founded uh, Denim Tears. The brand combines fashion with culture and social commentary. Often dressing seems like race, heritage, and identity through its designs and uh, collaborations. Denim Tears stands out for its through provoking designs and strong messages. The brand uses various fashion items, including denim jackets, t-shirts, and uh, accessories as a uh, canvas to express the viewpoints and the spark conversation about the important social issues. Uh, uh, Stussy and No Vacancy Inn uh, have a history of throwing parties together in the 90s uh, and then allowed uh, No Vacancy to build its reputation in cities like uh, oh, LA. <laughs> <laughs> uh, in the multiple cities. And then uh, so in uh, September 2020, um, they had this uh, collaboration uh, to celebrate uh, Stussy's 40-year uh, anniversary. Uh, Chiman <laughs> has also worked as a brand consultant, collaborating with communities <laughs> such as Nike and Converse. He has also uh, he has helped developing campaigns, creating design and uh, advice on branding strategy. I got those. Uh, and then in October 2021, uh, Tremaine's Denim Tears uh, collaborated with the Levi to release a limited edition uh, collection aimed at celebrating black culture and history. Anyway, you get the point. Whole thing I want to say is that credit to the guy for standing on principles, morals, ethics, whatever it may be, and not including the work of somebody that he actually hates and doesn't doesn't rate anymore and actually fell out with even though it's someone like Ye and a Kanye West right if this was anybody else in the scene they'd still be jacking him still be talking about how much they love the guy and the work that he contributed to because it's a good thing to add to your flipping clout CV but Tremaine is so confident in his own work that he's willing 
to not include that thing in his work even though it's something quite important it obviously would kind of create a good impression of him and definitely something that you want to kind of talk about but because the guy doesn't align with that person spiritually in any kind of way shape or form he's like nah i'm cool with that and that says a lot about him as a person so ratings for him for doing that 